Here we go. Group three final for number one in the state, 135 pound weight class, South Plainfield, Scott Del Vecchio with the takedown. He beat Jason Snyder eight to five. And South Plainfield jumps out to a three nothing lead over our high point Wildcats. 140, John Conroy of South Plainfield with the escape. Only point in this match. He beat Alec Alvino once to nothing to make it six nothing South Plainfield. 145, high points, Drew Wagenhofer with the takedown. He had a tech fall win over Joe Pellegrino to make it 6-5, South Plainfield in the Group 3 final. 152, Corey Dasensko pins Tom Hooker of high point to make it 12-5, South Plainfield. 160 we go, high point needs a win. Joey Gascione comes through with a takedown and back points. He beat Kyle Pompelio of South Plainfield, 13-6. South Plainfield now leads high point team score, 12-8. On to 171, my man Ethan Orr pins Mike Molinaro of South Plainfield to make it 14 to 12, high point in front. 189, high points, Buddy Mallon with a takedown. He beat Brian Bellick 7 to 2. It's now 17 to 12, high point leading South Plainfield. 215, Will Whitefleet of South Plainfield with a takedown of John Hagen of high point. He won 4 to 2. To make it 17 to 15, South Plain Field trails High Point. High Point gets a forfeit win in heavyweight. On to 103, Raymond Jazakoff of South Plain Field with reversal. He beat John Torpy of High Point, six to three. It's now 23 to 18, High Point. 112 pound weight class we go. South Plain Field's Anthony Ashnault needs just one minute to pin Chris Hour of High Point. It's now 24 23, South Plain Field. 119, Troy Heilman of South Plainfield with a takedown. He beat Justin Bellis 9 to 1, 28 to 23, South Plainfield. So it comes to the final two bouts, ladies and gentlemen. And High Point needs to get a victory. Here we go. 125 pound weight class. Billy Haggerty of High Point with the back points on Dylan Payton. He won 9 to nothing. That's a four-point major. 28-27 South Plainfield. I just I just feel like I had to go out there and wrestle just. If I can take a little bit of pressure off the last for the last match, make it easier for my teammate, I figured I could and I would go out and do it. So this is my goal, just go out there, try and get the major, keep the momentum going. Then you send your state champ out to wrestle at 130. My man Nick Frank of Villa moving up the weight class with the takedown. He beat Tyler Hunt 6-3 and High Point wins the Group 3 title. The final score 30-28. The Group 3 state champions, number one in the state, comes right out of here in Sussex County. Number one, no doubt about it. Here's the post-game reaction. Definitely getting a little nervous. Place is packed. Wrestling up a weight class against a real tough kid, Tyler Hunt. I mean, I haven't wrestled him for years, but I knew he was coming hard and he wanted the match. Right in the beginning there, I almost got taken down, and I was just thinking, there's no way I'm going down in this one. So got a pick and then kind of just rode out the rest of the match from there, took it easy, played it cautious, and got the win. I'll tell you what, to end with those two guys, it's, uh, you know, wrestling's a funny sport. The way things match up, the way things work out, and how it goes. You know, we we're just fortunate enough to have those two guys at the end. What was the feeling like knowing that you, it would come down to you and then again Frank Avella after you? Uh, it's happened to us a few times. Easton over the summer at Plot Flow Nationals came down to us two each time. After I knew that was going to come down like this, I, I was looking forward to it. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, a lot of pressure all year with that number one ranking. What's it like to finally seal it up here? Oh, it's great. I mean, that's all we were looking forward to. Like. No one's even been thinking about us past this weekend at all. We had some injuries. We're missing some few, few people. We battled through it, and I just think came out even stronger as a team than we've ever been. <laughs> and people wanted to argue who was the best high point team to ever come through here. I think we just proved it. We had a few misfortunes over the last four years, but we came out hard. People went through injuries, and we got it done. Feels good. It was just, it's, this is something I'm not used to, and I, I was glad I was able to be a part of it. I'm just so happy for the older kids on the team. You know, the kids have been around, and, and uh, you know, it's, it, it's amazing, and, I, and I'm very, very happy for them. You know, we knew coming in we needed to win seven, and, and uh, that's what we did today. I'm just very, very proud of them.